Today I just received my extra 330L 50cc from TexasRCPlanes.com. I removed the contents from the box. It came nicely double boxed. Everything was wrapped in plastic. Uh, overall it looks very impressive. It's going to be a large model. It's a 90.5 inch wingspan and it's going to be 76 inches long. Uh, one of the features I definitely like about the, this model is uh, it's got monocoat covering and it will withstand a lot, of, a lot of abuse. I'll be covering some of the parts and showing y'all what the model actually looks like and try to give a quick review of uh, how it will look like in a finished product. I look at the wings. Uh, I've got the bottom and top view of the wings. Uh, the bottom which will represent the white and yellow and on top you have the yellow, the black, the gray, and the white so it should be easy to distinguish in flight the orientation of the plane. The fuselage is quite large. Uh, I'll be showing you the uh, the workings of the inside. I'll show you the top removal and the firewall and how the location of the motor goes on. The top hatch comes off, uh, opening up the fuselage very nicely. It will be very easy to work on and get your parts in to assemble this, uh, this model. This gives a close-up view of the firewall. The center lines are already marked. You know, let you see inside, this is down the fuselage. And I'm going to rotate the model on up, showing you the fiberglass tube that your wing tube slides through. As you can see, as I rotate the model over, you have a cover. That your landing gear will mount here, and you'll have a cover for your landing gear. This is a close-up of the cow. It really is nicely painted. And quick view inside. Here I'd like to show you the Stabilizers, elevator halves, and the rudder. The wheel pants. It also comes with the aluminum wing tube and a wing tube for the horizontal stab elevator. Also, the landing gear is quite beefy. Uh, should hold up to rough landings, whatever you want to put it to. This model also comes equipped with a new feature. It's called pocket hinge design. Uh, with this here, it's really simple. You have a rod with threads on it, Allen headed to it. You just simply slide the two pieces together, and at the end, you slide and line this rod up. And you have your hinge. Uh, this is a unique system for me, and I'm anxious to see how it works out. The horizontal stab has a wing tube that goes through to slide your stabilizer on. We've got a location pin up front to keep it from moving. And underneath, it has two places to bolt this stabilizer on to keep it from falling off. Uh, the wing halves already have the ailerons on with the pocket design, pocket hinge design. Whatever you do, make sure you check here, all these and make sure they're tight. On the end, those two bolts go inside the fuselage and you have nuts inside. Again, the top view and the bottom view. Here I've slid the wings on the wing tube. I just propped the cow on and here I've just rough cut the canopy just to kind of give you an idea of what the model will look like put together. Uh, notice the control surfaces, how much movement they're going to have. This should make, with a 50cc engine, should make a great 3D plane. Here's a view of the model standing on the snows. And I'll turn it around where you can see the bottom side. Here's the bottom view.
Here's a look at the inside of the instructions. Uh, it's one of the things I wasn't too impressed with. It's more of a picture, things to note, things to take interest in. I'll turn the page. Here's the next page. Again, it's real simple instructions. It's more just pictures showing you the dimensions, where to drill the holes. So first time ARF builders, you might seek uh, some advice from uh, other modeling buddies. This is the last page of the instruction manual. As you can see, it shows you the placement of uh, your fuel tank and other items. Uh, the fuel tank was not included, but for those who are going to be using a gas engine, you're going to have to make sure that you get a tank that has a gasoline stopper where the gasoline won't uh, deteriorate the stopper. Uh, the servos uh, are going to be uh, something you want to pay close uh, attention to. Uh, I'm going to be using a 208 ounce torque servo on the rudder and I'm going to be uh, using 160 ounce servos in the wing. Each aileron has two servos. You have one for the rudder and I'm going to be using 160 ounce servos one each on each side of the elevator. Alright, as you can see I've already picked up a pilot for this uh, model, Snoopy. He's a guaranteed winner. After reading the instructions, and I've put several ARFs together, this is my first attempt at building a model this big. So I'm going to be asking two fellow modeler, modelers to help me with uh, assembling of this. One of them is a friend that uh, already flies the 50cc gas engine. He has a big yak, and uh, he's quite capable, and I'm going to be in, in trusting in his help and with my other friend uh, to help try to get this thing together and I'm going to be doing a review uh, as we build and uh, also flying. It'll be coming up later. Alright, there you have it. The extra 330L from TexasRCPlanes.com The phone number is on the uh, website. Uh, Robert is a really great guy. He uh, We'll be glad to hear from you. If you have any questions, just give Robert a call. 